Good morning, students of class 10. Welcome back to the online classes now. Let's continue our lesson in English. The making of a scientist. So now, so far we have learned that Richard A. Bright managed to win a number of prizes for his research and experiment from class 8 onwards. When he was in class 8, he earned the prize, he won the prize for the first time. And from then onwards, every year he managed to win the prize for his experiments, for his research, scientific research. And from there onwards, he never turned back. He kept on working harder. And let us continue. In his second year in high school, when he was in high school in the second year, second year, his research, he was all the time doing his research. He never sat, sat idle. He always used his time properly. He managed his time properly. In his research that led to his discovery when he was in high school, second year in high school, his research that led to his discovery of an unknown insect hormone. It also led to his new theory on the life of cells. Two things he discovered. The unknown insect hormone he discovered and the theory on the life of cells. So, that was a big discovery for him. He has done. How he managed to do it? So, let's see now. Let's continue. The question he tried to answer was simple. What was he trying to answer? The question was, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of the 12 tiny gold spots? Six here, six this side. That is tiny, 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa. You know, you have learned the science. In science, you have learned caterpillar, pupa, and adult butterfly. The stages. Pupa. Monarch pupa contain a hand, six gold spots on one side and six gold spots on the other, another side. So, Ebright tried to find out the answer to this question. What are these gold spots for? What is the purpose of this? The question was very simple, but it led to the discovery of an unknown hormone as well as it also led to the uh, theory on the life of the cells. Two big discoveries he had made from these simple questions. You see? He was very, very much inquisitive. He wanted to learn. He wanted to know. Always curious, desirous to know. That led him, that pushed him or led him further. So everyone thought or assumed the spots were ornamental. All the people or other students or even other people, they thought that these gold spots, 12 gold spots were just ornamental. It has nothing to do. It has no work. Just an ornamental, just for a show to look it, to make it look beautiful. Others thought the spots were ornamental. But his professor, Dr. Urquhart, did not believe him. And uh, Everett started working. When my professor, when the professor doesn't believe that it is just an ornamental, it has got something to do. So Everett started working on it. To find the answer, to find the answer, what is the purpose of those gold, 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa? To find the answer, Everett and other, another 
bright student, a science student. Both of them first had to build a device. They had to build a device as an instrument that showed the spots were producing a hormone. To show, they must make something. To show that these gold spots are making hormones. Producing a hormone necessary for the development of pupa into a butterfly. So what they did, they have experimented. They have taken a number of monarch pupa. They took out some of the gold spots and from the uh, some pu pupas and le they left some just like that, untouched. Later on, the pupa without uh, disturb it turned out to be a butterfly and the pupas which were disturbed the gold spots were taken out they could not uh, turn into a or go into a stage to form butterflies so in this way they did a number of experiments to show that the gold spot has something to do with it, it actually produces certain kind of hormones that's why the pupas are uh, forming into a or developing into a butterfly or it develops into a butterfly. So they find they first this Everright and his friend had to build a device that showed the spots were producing hormones necessary for the development of the pupa of a pupa into a butterfly. For the development hormones are necessary and they tried to find out. This project, and later on they discovered that yes, definitely these gold spots are not, not just ornamental, they have certain purpose. They are producing hormone so that the pupa can be developed into a uh, butterfly. This project won a bright first place in the county fair. There in the county, county means that area, the town or the city. Science exhibition was were held every year. So, in that science exhibition in the county in science fair, he won the first place for this project, and he also got the entry into the international science and engineering fair. This project has helped him to win the first place in the county science fair and it also helped him to enter the international science and engineering fair so he got a chance there to enter into the international science and engineering fair he got the chance to go there. so there also he worked very hard there he won third place for geology there he earned third place for geology and he also got a chance to work in a laboratory laboratory he also got a chance to work at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, that is the laboratory. He also got a chance to work in the laboratory, Army laboratory, that is Walter Army Institute of Research. He also got a chance to work there because for the research work he needed a laboratory. So he needed instruments, apparatus and lot of things. So. He, during summer holidays, he used to go there and work there and do, he did his research there. So that will lead him further experiments, further research work. So it always helped him. So that's why he never wasted his time. During his free time, during his holidays, he used to go to the laboratory, the Army Institute of Research. There he used to go there and did his experiments and he discovered furthermore and he improved, he, he, he improved his uh, work. So that's all for today and in our next class we'll talk about um, what other things he had discovered. This is not just enough, he also uh, discovered the theory on the life of the cells and later on we'll talk about uh, DNA and RNA and the blueprint of the cells, how they recognize uh, um, the other cells. So he had discovered a lot of things later on. From this only he proceeded further 
and he discovered more. The more he worked, the more he found, the more he discovered. More research means more discovery. So in this way he proceeded further and he became very famous. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class and continue our lessons and we'll find out what other things he had discovered, how he managed to do that, or how he managed to discover those things. He must have put his whole time or interest, mind and body and interest and managed his time in the process. That's why he discovered a lot of things. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you very much for watching.